The Texas Workforce Commission and the Hernandez Foundation meeting in Brownsville to improve job programs in the Rio Grande Valley. They pledge $100,000 to begin a special program. Alfredo Cuadros explains. We continue a conversation about the future workforce of the Rio Grande Valley. Today, regional partners talk about apprenticeships and pre-apprenticeships, essentially getting students and community members trained in skilled labor with little to no depth in industries such as welding, carpentry, plumbing, construction. We had to bring education and, and industry together. And in doing that, we realized that we have a huge gap in skilled labor. They say there's not a shortage of people ready to work. Rather, a shortage of skilled workers. You can see that there are more and more occupations that actually require someone with these types of skills that are going to be trained here in South Texas. Apprenticeships are proven ways to get local skilled workers. Early this year, we visit an example of an existing apprenticeship model. The Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy has students from 15 school districts, with industry partners stating the jobs they're looking to fill. Students attend high school, learn the specific skills employers are looking for, and earn college credit. Not just a diploma, but a certificate as well. And if not, they can continue on, and that certificate counts as credits towards the next degree. Right now, the majority of RGV workforce in retail. Some want to change that to higher paying salaries. We want to provide jobs to our local citizens. We don't want to bring people in from outside our community, because that to me is not true economic development. The Texas Workforce Commissioner says he's not satisfied with jobs. He wants careers. From Brownsville, Alfredo Cuadros, KVEO, News Center 23. The Texas Workforce Commission plans to work with various industries across the region to establish an apprenticeship model.